Welcome back everybody to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 and the, restart, the restoration of our Mercedes-Benz 560 SEC. I, while you were gone, I have spent a lot of, uh, of uh, in-game money getting the parts together so we could be, go ahead and get ready putting this uh, big old car back together. So this is where we stand so far in our expenditures. The purchase price of the car. $37,190. Our little oil spill while uh, disassembling the car was $100. The uh, chassis repair was $2,000. And these are the parts we spent, the part, the amount I've spent to buy the parts that we're going to be putting in here. $2,000, uh, I already said the $2,000 on that, so excuse me. $1,200 on brakes, $2,100 on replacement body parts, $3,022 on suspension suspension components, $1,215 for gearbox components, a whopping $10,475 on engine parts, $2,100 and I believe that is four, yeah, $2,140 on exhaust parts for our, our current total is at $59,492. Holy shit, we've spent a lot of money. And still, we have to spend $1,500 in paint. So right now, it looks like we're going to be at a grand total of $60,992 spent on this car. Holy shit, what have we gotten ourselves into? So, before I start ha freaking out, let's go ahead and start putting this car back together. So once it's done, we can sell off the junk, the parts that we don't need, make a little money back, then we'll pa obviously paint the car, throw it on the dyno, tune it up, uh, because that $10,000 in engine parts includes some real nice things that upgrades to this car. So there's a reason to the madness. So let's get to it. If I can press the right key, we're going to go ahead, start back here, throw our fuel tank in. And you can tell I still have some of the old parts, our fuel pump. Here is our new one, which is supposed to give us a little bit more horsepower. Our rear suspension cross member. Start putting rubber bushings in. It took a bit to not only repair it, but to write down all the parts I needed. Because usually I buy as I go. But since I'm doing this video, I want to kind of be like, okay, let's have all the parts ready. And I bought one too many of these. Fuck. Alrighty. So... That's just fucking lovely. So let's go ahead and put, we'll recoup some of that loss in when we sell off the spare parts. All right. Almost there. All right, so far so good. Put this wheel hub in. Put our bearing in the hub so we can install the axle. And let's put install the rear brakes. Actually, I still need to install this guy, so let's do that first. Install this guy, install this bearing. Alright, so brake pads, the brake caliper. I think that's everything on this side. Yep, it is. So let's go ahead and put start putting the nice wheels back on this car so that is one side done let's go back over here put this on that all right it's so nice working with new parts even if it's just virtual new parts new parts are new parts <laughs> doesn't matter if they are physical or virtual they're still nice uh, ba -ba -ba. Shock absorber. Yep. Throw this on. It was most tedious just trying to find all the parts I needed going through and like, oh, did I do this? And apparently I was off in my calculations. I thought I needed two, and I think I wrote down I needed two. Yes, I did. So I so I actually spent $110 too much. Fuck. But I know we'll make it back. We shouldn't make a profit on this car, so I am not worried yet. 
All right, and our rear suspension, I believe, is now done. Our fuel tank is in. Let's just see. Yeah, that looks all good. How about that? Let's go ahead and get the front suspension back on. We'll start with... Oh, shit. Did I not buy? Did I buy the wrong one? Uh, I might, I, I might have, oh, one better, I wrote the price down and I never bought the fucking thing. I wrote it down and never got the price, so let's go ahead, go in here, and buy our front cross member. I feel like a complete and utter fucking dumbass right now. All right. Now that we got our new one, put that in. We'll put our rubber bushings in so it's mounted to the car. And we'll get this. Oh, 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 oh. We'll get this uh, on all four wheels. Did I buy one too many fucking bushings? I'm looking to see if I missed a bushing somewhere, because it'll tell me. Uh, nope, I bought one too many, it looks like. God damn it. Well, again, when you're buying, I, bu I end up just click, 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 click so fast that it's very easy for me to buy one too many of something. Hey, at least I bought the correct amount of those two parts. All right, so let's go ahead and get our front spring the shock all the way in that let's put our sway bar sway bar end link all right wheel hub there, let's go ahead and put our steering rack our tie rod ends in there we go like so i think that's everything on this side so i could go ahead and put the brakes on All right, let's put our wheel on. All right, so far so good. Car's coming together nicely. It's already looking a lot better than it did when it rolled into uh, the garage. Let's go ahead and put this guy on. Our control arm. Get the spring in so it's attached at the top. I honestly think some sort of physics should be introduced with this, but, like, if you undo this and you gotta, like, jack this up so it's at the right point to, uh, install the shock and everything, I think that'd be fun. I mean, if there's people, then most likely won't, but make it easy in a hard mode. I mean, how hard, that, that's not, that would not be too difficult. I'm sure it, I'm sure it'd be difficult, but it wouldn't be that fucking difficult to do. I'm actually going to go ahead and hop to the back here and double check that I got, yeah, 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 huh, I honestly just bought one too many fucking rubber bushings, oh well, you can never have too many rubbers, uh, bushings that is, uh, alright, let's go ahead and drop the car down, and we'll start putting the engine back into this thing, so. Oh, no, no, no. First thing we do, put our brake servo in. Then we'll drop our newly refurbished engine block in. Uh, there we go. And the optional parts are just that apparently this is... My guess would be it's a lesser resistance. Same with the power steering pump. So it allows the engine to spin up better. Put that in. And then we'll go ahead, go underneath, put the crankshaft in the crankshaft bearings. Get a lot of the bottom end on the motor. There's our crankshaft. Crankshaft bearing caps. All three of them. Alright, and our crank is safely in. We'll go ahead and spin on our new 
oil filter. Drop the. I at this point theoretically I can go ahead and put. It, the game will allow me to install the transmission, but I think I'll wait until the engine's a little bit more built. Like I drop the pistons in and that type of thing. So gotta scroll down here to our newer pistons, which are which are. I don't know why all they are is a like, hey, hey, it'll give you a little bit more power if you use these guys. <laughs> what do the they might be harder so you can put it more of a a better uh, more charged mixture in. I don't fucking know. Anyway. Oh, I did not want to do that. I want to take you out cuz you're going to hurt the motor. Assemble. Optional part. Alright, there we go. So let's, we could go ahead and drop our cylinder heads on, which they came out good in repairs, but we're making more power, we want more power, so we're going to drop these, uh, these ones in. I'm, my guess is they are, have been, uh, might have been, uh, I honestly don't fucking know the term right now. They might have been, uh, clear, cleared out, so the intake and exhaust uh, ports are smoother. Ah, port and polish, that's what I'm thinking of. Alright, so before I go any farther on the top end, I want to finish off the bottom end. And we can go ahead and put our gearbox in. Transmission, alright. Our oil pan. Zoom out here, there we go. Alright. And then we'll put our lighter flywheel on so the engine spins better, a, better clu a lighter clutch plate and pressure plate. Again, so engine has a little bit more power and it should lead to better operation overall. So put our gearbox in here. And then we will attach our, tra our uh, starter. And we're not going to attach our drive shaft yet. We'll attach the drive shaft right before we install the car's exo new exhaust system. All right, so let's go ahead, go in here. We'll install our new exhaust headers, real nice headers. Let's the engine get more air out. Get these on. There we go. That should do it for those. All right, and let's go ahead and put our new camshafts on again. A little bit more. Oh, don't tell me I only got one. Fuck. I swear. I thought I bought two. I might again. It might have been the thing where I priced the two, but I only bought one. Either way, let's go ahead and get this side finished up here in our cam gear. And let me take a look at my slip here. Yeah, two camshafts, $900. Uh, let's go to the tablet, performance shop. And I must have only purchased one. Yeah, I only purchased one. I wrote down the price for both. So my prices are right. It's just I didn't buy them. The right amount in the first place, so I'm the fucking idiot. Alright, camshaft for the 560. Sounds good. Let's put that in. Let's get these uh, bearings in. Odds are those, ooh, uh, my guess is these would have been installed and then you'd slide the camshaft in. So, but hey, it's all good. Who says I'd ever be working on one of these in real life anyway, so. Alright, so get that cam gear on. We're going to go ahead and get our new timing chain in. Uh, oh, come on. Go ahead and pop down here. We're going to put our new sprockets on. Alright, all of our timing sprockets are on. Boy, I don't want to put the fucking radiator in. Put the oh, fuck me. I didn't do that right. Two cam gears. How many cam... I didn't even buy one cam gear because the car... No, I need... I... 
two cam gears, so my prices are now off! Ah! Okay. Oh, fucking hell. That pisses me off. I should have caught that. That's an extra 150, so that's gonna add... So I'll fix that at the end. I'm actually just writing it down here now. Uh, so that's an extra 150 on there. I'm writing all this down right now because I will forget otherwise. Uh, four, five, six. So pre-paint, that's now 59,640. Post-paint, it is... Let me do the math here. Uh, two, four, carry the one. One, carry the one. 61, 142. That's where we're at. And I'll most likely put the correct captions up and be like, hey, by the way, I fucked it up later. Did I buy it? Did I buy it? No, I did not. Fucking hell. Now I bought it. All right. Now we'll drop in our hot distributor with a hot rotor and a mower's driving past. A cap. Put these clips on. I've decided to wake out. We'll put the timing cover on. And this engine is slowly getting to the point where it will run again. And the car itself is almost to the point where it is almost complete. We'll get this on. We'll put the fuel filter on. Red because it's racy. Our airflow sensor. Alright, we're going to drop our uh, valve covers on. With new gaskets, of course. They don't simulate this. I wish there was, like, a hard mode where you had to, like, things had to go in a specific order. You couldn't just throw them in. Come down. And, yes, even good plugs. Fucking ex They weren't like, that expensive. I think they are like, uh... I'll have to look here. Spark plugs. Spark plugs, spark plugs. They were, like, $200 because they're, like, 25 bucks a piece. A fucking ripoff. But, whatever. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this on. Alright, we are getting there, we, folks. We are really close. Oh! No, 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 no. Pull that off. Scroll down. There we go. Put the right parts in, dumb shit. Alright. Alright. Almost there, almost there. Alright, the last spark plug's in. We can put our red wires in. Again, they're red because they're cool. Cover, fuel injection system, our filter, filter cover, which looks really, sh really, uh, schnage. Now we'll put our ABS pump. In ABS module in. Alright. We're almost there. We just gotta put the accessories on the front end of the motor now. Our water pump. Water pump pulley. Crankshaft pulley. Then we'll put our new belts on. Our fan on. We'll drop our radiator in. And then a new... I think we just need to put oil in it and a new battery. Just checking here. Oh yeah, and the exhaust. So, but we can go ahead and drop the battery in now because oh, did I buy? I bought a fucking bat. Oh, I did it again. Ja! I wrote the fucking price down, but I didn't buy it. All right. So, one more thing we need to do with the engine is put some oil in. Go ahead, put some oil in. And I have to write down the price of that, too, because I don't know what it is until I put the oil in. And that should do it. $17 for oil. And that put it perfect, so I'm going to go ahead and put that down. 17 for oil. All right, so... Let's go ahead, get this up in the air. Water. 
All right. The new drive shaft goes in. And now the car can actually move under its own power, but it's going to be really fucking loud. So let's go ahead and put some exhaust in here and something to match the ignition system and intake upgrades. So a, a nice, shiny, stainless, high flow exhaust. Make this car a real screamer on the roads. There we go. Let's go. And that is, I believe, now it. We just have to put the uh, all the body parts that we have back on, and then we'll roll it into our paint booth. Yep. Alrighty. So let's move it into the center here, so we can uh, put our body panels back on. All right. We'll start with our doors. Uh, put the Tail lights in, and the rear bumper, then put the trunk lid on. And I hate this teal. I really do. With a, I hate it with a passion. Drop our fenders in, and our front bumper, then we'll put our headlights in. And yay, our car is now technically done. We could sell it as is right now and we'd make a lot of profit because we only have about sixty-one thousand dollars into this car so it's already we're making a lot of profit off this car but we're not doing that yet we're repainting it and we're putting it putting a, a tune into the car so let's go ahead move the car into our paint shop Alrighty, so i think a dark gray and i could just do this and give it like a tint of color Hold on. I'll do this so i can find the blue all right blue that's no all right that should work very well so we're going to go ahead and paint this a nice dark gray oh and doesn't that look so much better it actually looks like a proper mercedes so let's go back to the garage take a closer look at our paint job here oh wow she this car actually looks like a, a nice mercedes now so all right one more or there's two more things we're gonna do we're gonna take a look at the top oh i gotta do a tire eh, i'll leave the tires on it we're just gonna go ahead uh this car stock came with 272 horsepower so it's obviously gonna have more so we're gonna put it on the dyno and if i can walk to the right door we're gonna put it down. We're gonna do a test run now. 385 horsepower. That is good. I don't know if the. I think this. Oh, check carburetor. All right. So. Okay. So the, unfortunately, tuning it, it's not gonna get a whole whole lot of power out of it. It's only 2%. But that'll, that might push it closer to uh, 400. There we go. That gave us 6 more horsepower. Very good. That is a whole lot more than the stock uh, numbers that the car had. So, now this car is wor it's still worth the same amount. You know, 116 grand. But it looks so much better now. 391 horsepower over 272. So 120 horsepower difference. Uh, and let's go ahead and see how this car will do now in the quarter mile since we do have a drag strip. Let's go to the drag strip. And away we go. Choose the car. And a long fucking loading screen later. So... In funny tidbit, that this car is the temp is called the Tempest Magnum, and it doesn't have that type of motor in game. At least I haven't played with it since the newer updates. We can do engine swaps. Now you might be able to put that motor in it, but at the time even this game came out, you could not. So. <laughs>
seconds to do a thousand meter dash. Not bad. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the garage. Now that we have this, is it going to really increase the value? No. But it's nice to uh, see all of our hard work come together. So, after me missing the cam gear and putting the oil in, we are now up to $61,159 into this car. That's what we're in, in it for. So... As it, the loading screen's coming back up, we're going to sell the junk parts, and then we're going to sell the car, and we're going to see what our profit is. We already made about $50,000, so let's go in, go in here, and we are selling all the parts for $4,379. So now all the junk parts are gone. Now we're going to sell our car for $115,000. $936. Damn! So, let's sell this old beauty, get her debt back on the road, and it's gone. So, that means we made off of this car, let's see, I'm doing the math real quick, so bear with me. Carry the one, carry the one, carry the one. $120,212. That's how much we have we've made. Alright? So, and I should be facing this, but there's nothing really to write on. But we have spent approximately sixty-one thousand one hundred and fifty-nine dollars. So again, I'm gonna do the math real quick. So just bear with me. So our profit. We did very well. We almost uh, we just came under doubling our money. We made fifty nine thousand dollars in change in profit. That is pretty damn good, if you ask me. Well, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the our, the little fixer up videos that I have. I have a bunch more cars. I'll show you here. I have a bunch of more cars sitting in my par my garages here. So, if you guys want to see more of this, tell me which car you want me to fix up, and we'll do it. Some of these cars, I don't know what I spent on them. Some of them, I do. I have a list here. So, either way, I need to mark the 560 SEL off. That's now officially off the list, because it's no more. It, I've sold it. So, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed Please like, subscribe, comment, message, however you want to. Till next time, guys. Have a good one.